Hey YouTube, this is Manny with another quick video. So I am going to show you where I work. So my real job is I work for Norman Reedus and Greg Nicotero. I am a manager at Nick and Norman's here in Sonoya, Georgia. So I'll show you guys some of the cool pictures that we have here in the restaurant. I'm pretty sure he took some of them because um, he is a photographer and he has a few books out that you guys can buy. Um, so let me go ahead and show you some pictures and then I'll show you guys how the, how the restaurant looks. So the number one question um, we get asked here is have, how often does Norman Reedus get here or how often does he visit you know his restaurant. Um, it's rare. I've been here for two years and I've only seen him three times. Um, but I know he, he's come here when I'm not here. Uh, Greg Nicotero, I've probably seen him like a good four or five times. Um, he stops here more often. And I used to be the GM here for two years. And then I stepped down uh, about six months ago. This is a cool picture. They're like... So I stepped down uh, six months ago and now I'm just a manager. I work four days a week, about 35 hours. It's a small restaurant, um, which I like a lot because I used to work at uh, Cracker Barrel and you can fit like 200 to 250 people in there. Um, here we can probably fit like 100 people. A very small restaurant, um, which is great because um, it doesn't flood the kitchen or where you would run great ticket times. Um, there's nothing bad that I can honestly say um, about this job, about being a manager here at Nick Norman's. You know, as I stayed here for, you know, two years, um, there's a cool bar. You know, um, I like it. It's giving me a work-life balance now that I stepped down. Um, it is a little bit higher end, but you're kind of paying for what you're getting. So all of our ingredients are fresh. Nothing's ever frozen. And um, because it is a smaller restaurant, we're able to, um, we get like three orders per week. And then that week we're ensuring the guests that you're getting fresh quality product and um, you know a lot of these places if they have a big menu um, coming from Cracker Barrel um, none of it was ever really fresh um, everything was frozen that you just heat up instantly and um, you know you just throw it on the grill or throw it on the fryer but you, you can um, you know two years ago you can bring in your family of four you can take your family of five and feed everyone uh, for 30 or 40 dollars obviously now it's a little bit higher because everything went up um, here for two people you're there you're going to spend anywhere from like 50 to 60 70 dollars um, you know for drinks your entree your appetizer um, dessert all that um, but again you're paying for what you're getting it's great quality food and uh, one of the reasons why I stepped down was because I have a few rental properties and I, I've been working my butt off for since I was like 13. Um, I started saving up at a young age. I got a few rental properties now. I started my lawn care service, so I'm in a position where I can step back and kind of let my assets do their thing, collect that cash flow and spend more time with my family that I haven't really been doing. And it's kind of like trying to take back the time I've lost because I knew that eventually I would get here. Um, and my goal is to reach financial freedom because I don't think that we were, we were put in this earth to constantly be working, to retire at 60 and <laughs> spend what 20 years and about at, at that time what are you gonna do you're so old you can't live life so 
you know, I want to retire early. Um, I work as hard as I did because I wanted to keep getting ahead. Um, but at some point, you gotta take a step back and be like, okay, this is this is enough. And it's not, you know, and it's not. I'm not saying that this is enough for me because I want to keep moving forward. But I need to slow down because I know that I'm like halfway to where I want to be. And that's why I stepped down as a as the GM for two years and um, stepped down as a manager now. And um, you know, I've been blessed to have great bosses that they. Um, they, they understand and they value my hard work because I'm sure you all know it's very hard to find good workers and someone that um, has integrity. And he, one of my old boss, what he told me was, you have true integrity. And he's like, do you know what that is? And I'm like, no. And he was like, true integrity is you're doing the right thing even though no one is watching. And he's like, and you have that. And that's something that is hard. I thought it was just common because I'm just like, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do. And um, he's like, not everyone has that. Um, some people do, but not everyone. But, uh, you know, they value my work. They've, they've seen what I've been able to do um, with my team. You know, we've made them a bunch of money and, you know, they pay us fairly. Um, and because of that, you know, he's able to work with with uh, with my schedule. And not, and by him, I don't mean like Norman Reedus or Greg Nicotero because um, I don't really interact with them. Um, you know, they obviously have someone someone else that deals with, you know, the whole operations and then that person hires managers to pretty much run the stores and um, so that's you know by them I don't mean Norman Reedus or Greg Nicotero my relationship with him is just hi bye and then you know every now and then he'll be like you know I think just once he, you know they're like oh thank you for everything you've done but I just thought it'd be pretty cool to show you know show Nick and Norman's in Sonoya and if you're ever in town stop by ask for me uh, like, subscribe, share. Peace.